Langara is an urban college, so class sizes are, are small and students benefit from their interactions and relationships with, with their instructors. So our library is a vital partner in academic excellence and student success. It's a, a hub for intellectual, cultural and social life at, of the Langara community. So a really large challenge that we're facing right now is evolution. Um, 2012 marks the five-year anniversary of the library in its new space here in this building. Um, it's also coinciding with the launch of our um, first floor learning commons, which, as you'll see, is, is currently under construction. What an institution considers a learning commons really varies depending on the institution. At Langara, we're calling our whole first floor the Learning Commons. So part is an extension of what we've always had here. Collaborative and various computer stations, practice presentation rooms, and study areas. We are in the process of incorporating into this Learning Commons is the, the Writing and Tutorial Centre. The Writing Centre used to be located in the library when we were in the old building. And when we moved here, um, they weren't incorporated into the library space. Traffic flow dropped off, students weren't being able to find them. We also found that it was more difficult to direct students that way. The library is logical as a location, easy to find. Students are ready coming here to do research. This way they also get writing help. Um, there's more collaborative space here and with the Learning Commons concept, we are building more collaborative space. At the moment, we're dedicating one of our group study rooms to peer tutoring, like biology and chemistry. So with the Learning Commons and the tutor area, uh, these people can use that space and we can free up another group study room, which is really popular. Langara has some distance education classes, as well as some mixed mode classes. So although we have a fantastic building, students may only be seeing us through our website and online resources. Um, ultimately, our focus is on supporting teaching and student success. We're always trying to meet the students' needs, but the best way to meet those needs is um, usually through their, their instructors. Um, research shows that students are more likely to visit the library if they've been recommended to do so by a teacher or a professor. Um, so we really try to reach out to our faculty to develop those strong relationships that will encourage students to come in and either you know, participate in a workshop or just come ask a librarian for help. Um, we have focused on the students and the students are a main focus, um, but in order to get to the students we need to also know what faculty and other departments need and to really build those connections. Yeah, because I, students come and go, they're, obviously they're very important to us, but the lasting relationships that we're really trying to build are with the faculty who see the students on a regular basis, because they're the ones who are more likely to listen to us directly and then in turn um, feed, our, feed our information to their students.